Hello and good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about Discord. Uh, if you're anything like me, you discovered Worlds Collide, it was the best thing since sliced bread, you played around on the website, made some seeds, and it was all good fun. Uh, after a little while though, you may discover that you want a little bit more. Maybe you want some community, maybe you want some challenge, uh, maybe you want to connect with others who enjoy playing the game. Uh, the great thing is that Worlds Collide has an amazing community on Discord. Uh, also, if you're anything like me, you are uh, in your mid-30s and you played Final Fantasy III when it came out originally, and you have no idea what to do with these newfangled technologies. Uh, when I first started using Discord, I wasn't really all super comfortable with it, uh, and now uh, we're best friends. So anyway, the whole point of this video is to introduce you to Discord uh, at a high level, and then just sort of walk you through the Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide Discord and some of the things that you can do there. Uh, so if you're willing, you know, wanting to take your next step into the community and just have some more fun, this is a great way to do it. So uh, to get started off, if you've never used Discord before, it is a, it's just an online, uh, I guess, like a community platform. So there's different servers, and in those servers there's channels, and then there's different, you know, groups of people and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you can get to the Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide Discord on the website, so at ff6wc.com. Uh, right under the banner, there's a couple of links, one to the wiki and one to the Discord. So I'm going to click on the Discord link. Uh, it's going to say, whoa, look, my Discord app is launched. Continue to Discord. Uh, when you sign in for the first time, this will look a little bit different. It'll ask you to create an account or whatever. So uh, you'll get done with that. We're going to continue to Discord. Oh, look at this. It's opening up in the browser. You know, even better. Uh, the browser version of Discord looks a lot like the regular version of Discord, the actual app. You don't have to have the application installed on your computer, uh, but it is a little bit faster, I think, than the web. Uh, and you can also install it on your phone, uh, which is a great way to keep track of everything that's going on. Uh, but anyway, when you first sign into Discord, on your left navigation here are going to be your different servers. Uh, if Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide is your first server, this will be the only option over here. As you can see, I have a few different servers because I use Discord for some different communities. Uh, so that's your main server navigation. Uh, and then over here in this section are the channels. So you can see we're in the FF6WC general chat channel. And this is just a chat channel. There's all kinds of people talking about Final Fantasy VI Worlds Collide. There's an announcement channel. Uh, there's a channel with guides. Uh, there's a channel where everybody plugs their streams. Uh, and if you look down, there's lots and lots of channels. It can be a little overwhelming at first, which is why, partially why I'm making this video. Uh, the channels are broken up into categories, I would call them. So like this one is Worlds Collide Discussions. This one's the Beginner's House, Off Topic. There's staff channels, development channels, so on and so forth. There's a Seat of the Week channel, which is a really, really popular one, uh, especially as you first get into the community and want to start playing along with everybody else. Seat of the Week is a great way to get started. Uh, and then there's racing channels and then voice channels, uh, and that's just sort of the way that it's set up. Uh, on the very right side, you can see the uh, member list of a certain channel. Uh, I don't know if this is super helpful because you can see there are 617 people in here. <laughs> so uh, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, so that's the basic gist of Discord. Uh, it's really just a collection of channels where people talk about stuff. We try to keep everything in its specific place over here so that if you know if you need help with something you're just getting started off and you have a question, a beginner's question, come to the beginner's house channel, ask your question, and there's somebody here uh, that will answer you. The community is amazing. Uh, if you want to talk about anything else, there's a general chit chat channel. Uh, and then depending on if you end up joining up with like the restream teams or anything like that, you'll get access to the staff area. Uh, and then let's see, what else can I talk about there? I guess that's really it for those. So let's kind of jump in to uh, a real example here. So you're newer to the community, you've been playing Worlds Collide for a little bit and you want to get into the seed of the week. Uh, this is a really, really great way to play the game. So every week, there's a new seed, the seed of the week, that gets posted over here. So in the seed of the week channel, this is where the seed will be posted. So we'll see that this seed, uh, we're actually a little bit behind, but this is the seed of the week. You know, you would see uh, how many people are participating. There's the link to it. 
And to play the seed of the week, all you have to do is click the link. It's going to bring up the Worlds Collide channel or the website with that seed already preloaded. You'd go through the steps, download the seed, and then you would just run the seed. And when you're done running the seed, you would type your time in here. So let's say that I got an you know a time of two hours. You would just type two in just time format. So two colon zero zero colon zero zero whatever, and hit enter, and then you'll be uh, um, you'll have your time logged and you'll get access to the spoiler channel. Uh, you also get access to the leaderboard channel for that week. So let's say I've already put my time in. I can see the leaderboard channel to see how everybody else did this week. So you can compare your time with others and have fun. Then there's the spoilers channel, uh, which is where everybody just talks about the seed and how it went and what they found and whatever else they want to talk about. Uh, you can also go to this how to play SOTW channel. This just gives you a really quick rundown of how the channel actually works. Uh, it's just the text version of what I just told you in, uh, in voice. <laughs> so that's the Seed of the Week. It's really super simple. Really, if you want to play Seed of the Week, just go to the Seed of the Week channel, click the link, enter your time when you're done, and that's it. You don't have to stream it. Uh, all you have to do is have a timer and run the Seed. And you can do that in a multitude of different ways. You can do it on your computer. You can do it on your phone, whatever, you, whatever you'd like to run. As long as you have a timer and you run the Seed and finish it, uh, that's all you got to do. Next, I'll move on to racing. In case you're interested in this part of the Discord, uh, we have all kinds of racing channels. Uh, the way that this really works is um, whenever there's a race, there's two different kinds. There's a regular race, which is a synced race, which means everybody starts at the same time, and when you get done, you get done. Uh, and it all starts at the same time, and everybody's running together. Then there are async races or asynchronous races, which are usually open for about a week. So someone will open an async race like this one. So I'm going to scroll up to the top. Uh, oh, this was the latest ladder race. So somebody opens this race, you join it, and then you can run it at your convenience. You can stream it if you want to. It's like the seed of the week. You don't have to stream it, uh, but just run it and enter your time when you're done, and you'll get access to the spoiler channel. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I can tell you about those. That's basically how it works. Um, so to kind of give you the step by step, there's also a how to play races channel that gives you the commands and uh, all that stuff. So if you want to open your own room, this is how you would do it. Um, there's a racing discussions channel, which you talk about just races in general. And then there's the races channel. This is where you want to go, uh, to find out what races are going on and a little bit about them. So if we look up here, we'll see... There's, uh, so Javinator today at 1 p.m. started this race. So he wrote the command to start the race. The bot says, hey, this has been created. Type this right here to join it. And then Jav said what the race was about. So he said, this is a draft race between me and Champion Jackamus. Uh, and then the next time, Sid started a race here. And this is a rematch race between the Red Baron and Sid. Then Boo started a race. Uh, and he just says quick race. So that's generally how it works. Someone will start a race room, give a little bit of example of what it's for. If you want to join the race, all you do is type join and whatever the name of the race room is, and it'll put you into that channel. You can also see all of the current, this, this channel can get kind of hectic. So you can see in the races alert channel, all of the currently open races. You're not going to see the descriptions or anything like that, but you can see the race room names, and whether it's an async or a regular race, how many people are entered, and if the person used the bot to roll the seed, you'll see the share link and the flags right here and who rolled the seed. Uh, so this is a great place to go if there's a lot of stuff going on in the channel and you just kind of want to get an idea of what kind of races are out there. You can come here to races alerts and see what's there and then go back to races and say, let's say that I was interested in this. Uh, this is an async race. I know that I like asyncs. So I'm going to try and find this. So I'm going to go to the race channel. I'm going to search for this. Uh, let's see. In racing, right? No, nope, that's not right. <laughs> I'm not looking in there. Pay no attention to this. Maybe I'll cut that out. <laughs> but anyway, you would find, you'd find that uh, race in this list, and then you would find out what it's about, and then you could join if you want to. Uh, if you want to start your own race 
uh, this is something that we encourage. There's a lot of people on the Discord and a lot of people that want to race, and not everybody feels comfortable creating a race room or isn't sure that they're allowed to or anything like that. Um, I'm going to tell you that anybody can create one, and it's okay. So, uh, And if you don't know how to do it, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, so starting out, you'll, let's say that you want to create a new async race. You have an idea for a seed. You've already rolled the seed over here, or you've got your flag set figured out. Say, you know what? I want to run a fun whatever seed. So let's actually go through one. So let's say that I want to do a replay seed. So I've already loaded this up. I'm going to change a couple things. I'm going to make Gogo one of the characters. We're going to start with 100,000 gold or whatever. So this this is the seed that I have that I want to race with other people in an async race. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have my flags down here in this section, the flag section. I'm going to make sure I have those copied. And then I'm going to go into the Discord and say, you know what? I want to create a room. I'm going to go to the races channel and I'm going to put start race FF6WC. If you want to do a regular synced race, that's all you have to do. I want to do an async race, so I'm going to do start race FF6WC two hyphens and then async. So I'm going to type that out. The bot is going to say, well, it's actually going to say, why can't you spell start right, Jones? So start race FF6WC async. Okay, so now this is saying a race room has been created. Here's the name of the race room. Uh, please type join to join. Uh, I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna join this room just by typing in that command join and then the room name and then over in my race or in my uh, uh, channel list over here you can see that this AH4OCX has shown up so I'm gonna join the race and uh, right now there's nothing in it but uh, it's gonna say who starts to you know who's joining the race and anybody who wants to talk and all that sort of stuff um, as a racer so if you're not creating the race and you're just joining one this is all you have to do you just join the race you get in here and then uh, whoever created the race will eventually post the seed. You download the seed, run it, and post your time. Uh, as a race creator, like I'm talking about in this example, uh, I've created the room, and now I want to get the bot to roll the seed for me. Uh, this is a great thing to do because then the, the seed is totally random. You know, you don't have to worry about people thinking that maybe you ran the race before. Or whatever plus it also is going to post the flags in the uh, alerts channel so right now you'll see this room is created here uh, but it doesn't have anything after it yet so what we're going to do is we're going to use the command ff6 wc flags and then we're going to oh i copied <laughs> i overwrote my clipboard huh i'm going to copy my flags here so i'm going to do the flags and then i'm going to paste the flags uh, and I'm going to click that. So now the bot has rolled the seed for me. Uh, it took my flags and created this. Now when I go back to the races alerts channel, oh, I guess it doesn't update uh, immediately. Um, it will update and it'll show in there. Maybe I have to start the async. Um, as the race creator, that's another thing you want to do. When you get the seed up, you're going to hit start async and this will actually start the race that just allows people to enter their times uh, to finish when they're done let's see if this showed up yet there it is so now in the races alerts channel you can see that it says there's one entrant which is me in this case there's the link to the seed and all the flags and then who rolled it and now the race is on so people will join, they might ask questions, they might just chit chat, whatever, they're gonna run their times. And then when you're done with the race, you're just gonna type done and your time. So we're gonna type done two hours. Whoops, come on now. So when you do that, then the channel's gonna say, ooh, you finished. So it's gonna dump you over into the async spoiler channel. The bot will announce your finish time, woohoo. Uh, up in the pinned messages, this is where you'll see all of the other people who have finished the race and what time they got. 
uh, and then you can talk freely about anything that you saw in the race. Uh, you know, when other people start to finish, you can all swap war stories and all that kind of stuff. Uh, as the race creator, you will be responsible for closing the race. Uh, and there's no set in stone time frame. Generally, for async races, we leave them up for a week. Uh, you can close them earlier if there's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, a lot of engagement or if everybody gets done. Or, you know, you may keep it open later because more people want to run it or whatever the case is. But when it's time to be done, you're just going to type finish async. And it's going to close it out. Uh, it's going to tell you the room and all associated voice channels will be closed in 10 minutes. And uh, the race bot, the Discord race bot, is going to message you and say, hey, this is how everybody did. Uh, here's the seed and here's what everybody placed, etc., etc. Uh, and that's just sort of how that works. So that's, that's, you know, creating a race. And also, I mean, we talked about what it looks like to, to join the race and run it and finish up. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about Discord? There are voice channels too. We use these usually when we're doing, uh, like it looks like Boo and Cabasiago are doing a uh, talkies race, we call them. They're probably racing each other and talking at the same time. We have the restreaming channel, which is the channel that we join whenever uh, we're doing the races, like the weekly community race or any other race that might be going on that's being uh, uh, restreamed on Twitch. Uh, I guess that's really about it that I can tell you about Discord. Uh, just another thing to say, Discord is not as scary as it might seem at first, especially if you've never used it before. It can be overwhelming, uh, but if you just get in there, even if you just pick a couple of channels that you like to be in, whether that's just the Seat of the Week channel or maybe you like to go into the general chat channel or whatever, just pick a couple channels and hang out there and, you know, just go from there. Uh, like I said, the community is really great uh, and we're always getting into all kinds of shenanigans, uh, both with, you know, running fun events and doing fun off the wall races and things like that. So uh, it's great. And it's also just a great place to get information. So if you have questions, you're stuck somewhere or you run into a bug or whatever, uh, it's a great place to be. So anyway, I guess that's about it. I'm not going to keep talking your ears off on this super long video. Just wanted to give you sort of a rundown of Discord so that if you want to get into uh, running some of these races, then that's how easy it is right there. So anyway, have a fantastic day. I hope you all have the best. Uh, have the best, huh? I wish you all the best. Have a great weekend or week, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, hope to see you in a race soon. Adios.